Hello guys, my name is Timothy Mbudi Awashira, a graduate teacher with a bachelor's degree in education arts. Uh, I've been part of uh, AYLF since uh, back in campus, that was around 2018. I was part of a small group in Karatina University where I served as a coordinator. Uh, I've been part of AYLF since then and I came to learn about Ajibika uh, through AYLF social media platforms where I, I applied to be part of the Ajibika program. Through a very competitive interview, I was lucky to be among those selected few to be part of this amazing program. The sole uh, reason why I, I was able to apply for this program and what really motivated me to apply for this program was my passion for accountability in terms of uh, governance, in terms of public awareness and in terms of civic engagement which I feel, in my opinion, has been one of where the most issues that have not been handled in our country very well. Uh, after being uh, successful for the interview for the Ajibika program, I joined the team of about 30 uh, youths who are taken through a very rigorous process uh, of the Ajibika program. First of all, we are taken through a, a couple of sessions of training where we are trained on various uh, issues in terms of uh, governance, in terms of constitution, in terms of uh, budget and very many others. After the, the training, we have been able to take part in various activities that is uh, under the Ajibika program. We've been having a lot of uh, sessions under the Twitter space or the X space where we've been able to engage the youth and the public in very many matters of public awareness, civic engagement and accountability. We've also taken part in uh, three city forums, that is Mombasa, Nairobi and uh, Eldoret, where we've been, we been able to sit down with the youth and have candid conversations about the state of our, our nation in terms of governance, in terms of civic accountability and also just the public awareness on how much they know about how the running of the government takes place. Uh, we have been also been able to uh, do uh, research in terms of uh, going out to the field and engaging the common monanchi in terms of various aspects of our uh, uh, the country in terms of how what they feel about the constitution, what they feel about governance, what they feel about accountability. And uh, the feedback has been amazing and we have been able to learn so much from, from there and we have been also been able to have public lectures and also just have uh, continue the chain of awareness to the general public. I'm really proud and a privilege to be part of this Ajibika program which has been able to really equip with various uh, and a very key fundamental uh, qualities that I've been able to use in my day-to-day -day activities. Uh, I've been able to engage various youths, the general public, and uh, through that we're able to create a chain of public awareness, a chain of accountability, and we're able to get to the grassroots and make the public aware about very many activities taking place by the government, very many government pro uh, projects, very many government systems which were little known to the common one inch. Uh, a lot, I've also been able to, to get a lot of skills in terms of uh, my, uh, my, my skills in terms of being able to uh, associate with the youth, create network and also just boost the, the, the accountability and in terms of uh, being able to talk about issues, the, the advocacy, especially to the youth, where they are able to leverage on things like technology, things like forums, things like campaigns through like a platform like Ajibika and the YLF where they're able to voice their issues in terms of matters of governance, matters of civic engagement and matters of accountability and, and just the, the, the general trying to air their voice in terms of the general shaping of how the country is governed in general. One of the areas where I really feel like uh, we don't have a lot of uh, little know-how to the general public as uh, it's supposed to be is in terms of public awareness. I feel like uh, the politicians or the, the governing class of the country have not been able to, to do so much in terms of public participation, in terms of uh, running campaigns, doing public awareness and getting to the grassroots and making the common one understand how policies are implemented, how various government projects are implemented and what is their role in terms of uh, being able to be part of this, uh, these programs. So I really feel like I really want to urge the government as, as they're able to, to, to come up with these policies which are going to shape the country, let them have these policies get to the youth, let the policies get to the grassroots where the, the, the youth, the, the, the common one at the, at the bottom of the pyramid, they can be able to understand how the government works, they can be able to understand what is going on, what are these policies, because these policies in one way or the other, they affect these particular individuals directly. 
Otherwise, I really, I'm really uh, privileged to be part of the Ajibika program. I've really gained a lot from it. And I really want to salute LLF. I really want to salute Ajibika for running such a great uh, campaign, such a great program, which has been able to, to uh, get to the grassroots, get uh, touch very many lives, and also and increase the, the, the chance and increase the value of accountability. The, the chance of uh, the youth being being able to voice their issues and to be part of the, uh, the opinion shapers in this particular country. Thank you so much.